Hello. Um, right, it's March. I think it's March the 25th. Let's have a quick look on my phone, shall we? No, it's not. It's March the 26th today. Um, we're in the hot, in the midst of this uh, coronavirus thing. Um, oh, that reminds me. Hey, okay. So hopefully you can understand me, but we're going to uh, get some more videos edited. They'll, they'll be hopefully small, quicker videos, um, just explaining some real basic stuff. So. I'll see you soon. So as you can see, we can have this as heating and water or heating only. We're now going to convert this to be a priority system in which you don't need this extra off. Take this off out. So that would help be how a priority system is wired. So now we're going to convert this from pumped to gravity. We've lost the uh, off from the programmer now. There we go. Pumped and gravity. So this is now a priority system. We ha don't have that. We don't have the off in there. So let's see what happens now when we put the heating on. Okay, it should bring the hot water on. Brings on both. So this is now a priority system. And you know that because in with the gray, you only have one other wire. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Don't tell anyone. Okay, so just a, a little brief thing about uh, priority systems. There are other types of priority systems. So one is a W plan. That's an older style, and that used a diverter valve, not a mid position valve. Okay, so it used a three wire, uh, three port effectively. Uh, so all that could do, like a combi boiler diverter valve, can only divert between heating and water. It couldn't go in the middle. All right, so that's a three wire diverter valve. That's old school. You still need an off from the cylinder. But what happens there, what's different, okay, with one of them is when you put heating and water on together, the valve can only do one thing at once. So it will prioritize hot water. It will get hot, the hot water up to temperature and then once demand has finished, so the cylinder stat says, I'm satisfied, then the valve motors to heating only. So effectively, your hot water off from your cylinder stat is what goes to the live, the brown wire of that diverter valve. So that's one unusual thing. That valve, if you get to a system like that, that valve can be replaced with a normal mid-po. Okay? All you need to do is a mid-po's five wires, so you have Earth and neutral, remember start the things you know. So earth is earth, neutral is neutral. The other three wires, you just join them all together and put them in where the life goes. That's it. So the drawbacks of that obviously are the hot water has to be heated first. Even though you can turn them on together on the timer, the hot water, the heating will not come on until the hot water sucks temperature. The type we've just been dealing with, with a mid po will allow you to put both on together and it will provide some heat to the heating while the hot water is being heated. Okay, so that's the benefit of a mid-po priority system. Last but not least, you have a load compensated or weather compensated priority system. Now, the reason they exist are 
load compensation and weather compensation can alter the flow temperature of the boiler okay to give you the most efficient sort of setup you can have my boiler at home is weather compensated my rads now are about 50 degrees um, because of the outside air temperature so in that situation there if you had a cylinder fitted with that the the boiler has to be able to fire at say 80 degrees or 75 degrees to get that cylinder hot and then it can close the valve to the cylinder and just do the heating and drop the flow temperature back down to keep it efficient they are the different types of priority systems so you have a w plan a normal priority system with a mid po and weather compensated or um, load compensated priority systems they're the three main types and that's why they all exist the mid po was just a better version of the old w plan so thanks for watching i don't know if you can hear a word i'm saying but you've got to stay safe and uh Let's see, I'll see you on the other side.